Hello everybody, welcome back to the modded road to a million percent. It's Eden time. We still have not actually successfully done a Eden run lately, and we're starting with a really, really good run right here. So BVA4, E3, Y, and F. Starting with the Cancer Trank, it's incredible. Uh, we also have an item that is making us totally green. And then we also have uh, this weird skull. I have no idea what any of these items do. So this should be interesting. Let's talk real quick. It's been a long time since I've uh, recorded since I've recorded uh, a good old modded road to a million and we've actually had some wild stuff happen. Okay, so popping this item gives me godhead. You know, a three room godhead is like that's pretty freaking good. I'm I'm going to keep that. I am going to pick this up. Uh, and then put it back down and then and then go I don't know man uh, life is weird since we've last recorded uh, modern road to a million we did have the booster pack come out so what does that mean for you that means that the mod pack is a little bit updated and obviously uh, it's always found in the description down below you can go check it out and play along with us uh, but since we had some of the mods that made its way into the booster pack on the modded road to a million, those mods are no longer there. Pretty straightforward. Uh, water balloon, as you know, uh, as well as light shot and uh, hyper hydration are now all in the game. So we no longer have them in the road to a million, which is awesome because uh, that gives us the ability to add more mods to the mod pack without really a performance decrease or anything like that, which is actually uh, pretty freaking awesome in my book since the last uh recording session as well i mean that was a hell of a lot of uh blue spiders we just got so this fight should be pretty easy and i'm also going to be able to get my godhead that seems like really overpowered i'm just saying but i'm going to accept it i'm going to take my growth hormones and then i'm going to get the hell out of here uh, i just want to win a freaking eden run because it seems like that's our uh, kryptonite right now is winning eden runs but we'll see what happens here. It's still it's a good start to a run. Uh, and a deal with the devil on this floor would be honestly just like the cherry on top of the sundae. It'd be the keys to the kingdom. Even though I still don't really know what the phrase keys to the kingdom even means. Because I don't, I don't own a kingdom. Unless it's the kingdom of Isaac and he's the king. Isaac's the king. We're all just living in it. There's something there. Uh, but th that's okay. What, what do we need on this run? Uh... It's mainly just damage, to be honest with you. We, we have the tears thing taken care of. Uh, and we're also, we're going to be seeing new enemies as well. It's just we'll have no idea if they're <laughs> new enemies from Alpha Birth or if they're new enemies for the actual game. Because I genuinely do not know off the top of my head. Ursa Major, it's just a flat two damage up. Pretty freaking good in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's not... Like, I'm going to get so amped up about it. Like, whoa, football! But, like, it's still pretty good. And I'm happy about it. A bomb gives us a lot. And a bomb we will get in this room. So, this run is actually already looking to be top-tier, fantastic, uh, happy fun time right now. Because then we come down here. We get ourselves a Tinted Rock. We're going to absolutely get a deal with the Devil, which is then going to allow us to get even more damage, hopefully. Uh, and then this run's just going to spiral out of control relatively quickly. I did get a couple comments saying, Hey, Tyler, uh, you know, don't mean to bother you, buddy. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got, uh, we got Brimstone this time. So I suppose it's not Godhead every time, but we are fighting the Firestarter. This is a mod uh, and not a new boss in the game. So we do have some new bosses and Firestarter is one of them. So that's pretty cool that we got a new boss. Uh, it did get obliterated, but that's... That's quite okay, in all honesty. The Chalice of Blood, I'm going to be, like, completely frank with you. I'm going to pick it up, but we're not going to use it. Because I think this Isaac Skull item is really freaking good. Like, borderline stupid good. Because we're able to essentially, like, every three rooms obliterate everything we know and love. And that seems like a pretty okay thing to me. I'm just going to throw it out there. So we're, we're going to stick with this. We also haven't used it. So I think that it's acceptable uh, to try it out here. 
But damn, this run's really good. Uh, we, we're getting the damage we need. We have the tiers we need already. I mean, we're at the... I mean, we're not at the tiers cap... Uh, if we're speaking, like, logistically, we, we can still get a lower tier stat than this using tier upgrades. Because we're getting the Cancer Trinket affecting the, uh, the tier delay right now. And also, Black Candle is a fantastic pickup for us. Um, but... I wouldn't mind getting down to four tiers. I, let's make this a tier heavy run. I would love some kind of tier effect, but you know how that goes. I mean, sometimes you're going to get a tier effect. Sometimes you won't. And in some ways, a high rate of fire plus uh, good damage. You know, how can I complain? That's basically an ideal run. So it's kind of, you know, at the moment, give me whatever the hell you want run. Uh, and then we'll talk later about if there's anything that I really, really need from you at any given moment. I would love to get some kind of uh, fun tier effect, though. Even if you gave me some new booster pack items... Uh, and allowed us to play with some light shot or some, uh, you know, water balloon. That would be a fun time. Chances of that happening, I'm going to go with negative 587. But, you know, you never know. The person who makes the uh, higher percent chance for modded items should make a higher percent chance for booster pack items as well. Uh, and that way we can get pop and all that good stuff all on one run as well. We have not been to our item room. I do want to obviously go to the item room. Because there's going to be some kind of value inside of it. We don't know what value. It could be anti-value. Which, yes, that is indeed a word. It's not actually, probably. But I, my brain stopped working there for a second. What do we got? Give me the good stuff. It's uh, telepathy for dummies. That is not what I consider the good stuff. But it is a book. Uh, which is going to bring us closer to the bookworm transformation not the book butterfly not the book caterpillar the bookworm transformation and that's okay and bookworm's useful allows us to get that uh double shot every once in a while we get ourselves more godhead this does seem still incredibly powerful uh to just get godhead kind of at whim every three rooms it seems like the kind of item that would be like a four room charge of Edmund got his hands on it, or even the unforeseen five-room charge that you never see in the Binding of Isaac. And we get Magic Mush. I mean, that's, like, actually phenomenal. And then we're gonna head down. Uh, this is a really good run right now, uh, and if I manage to botch this one up, and then frankly, just screw me, because we really should not screw this one up. Ten damage, and we still have the ability to get into the Horde Babylon state. And this is 10 damage on the, uh, fourth floor, mind you. Now, there is a part of me that's like, Tyler, go in the arcade. Just get yourself into Horror Babylon via Blood Bank. This is one of those, well, never mind. I was gonna say this is one of those do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do moments, but apparently this is a, uh, do-as-I-do and then say-as-I-say moment because we didn't actually get the ability to, uh, do that plan that I had, so... Oh, freaking well, I suppose. I would like to see these guys added into the game. These are Alpha Birth enemies, but they are pretty cool and pretty fun. And pretty fly, but uh, I would like them in the game. What do we got in the C room? Give me an item. No item. We should look for our Super Secret Rooms, because we do have on the uh, Challenging Super Secret Room mod, which allows us to possibly get some items uh, from our Super Secret Rooms. And that is something that I would, uh, inquire to possibly do here. To try to make our run a little bit more interesting. Get some funky, wacky items. This is the worst room to have Are You a Wizard in ever. Except that actually went swimmingly well. Is swimmingly a word? I'm going off, uh, the record here saying that swimmingly is a word. But I will say, I am skeptical. Uh, Joker card is really nice. Bumbo is, you know, he's mainly here for the memes. Bumbo loves memes. He's a memer. You know, if he were to follow a Binding of Isaac uh, YouTuber, he would definitely follow me. My chat's the memes. And now since I lost my deal with the devil opportunity because I stupidly did not wait for uh, Are You a Wizard to wear out, we will probably end up in a position where we cannot, uh, where we cannot get a deal and we'll have to use this Joker card. It's not the end of the world. It is still okay. 
I'm gonna buy the Spirit Heart just so that we can take those deals when we get them. And then I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say that this over here is our Super Secret Room. Give it to me. Bang, bang into the room. I would like to re-roll that. Bang, bang all over you. I'd like to re-roll that. Wait a minute. This is gonna take forever. Wait a minute. This is gonna take forever. Dun 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 That is what the pinnacle of laziness looks like right there. Uh, I, that is not how you should do that room, by the way. But, let's just go fight the boss. I mean, it will, we'll figure this crap out. Thought I had it mapped out, but I guess it didn't know. Like, we're gonna go fight the boss. It's Mahaloth, which I really do not want to deal with her BS today, uh, as you are a new boss for us. But, that went incredibly well. We do get another syringe, which is gonna give me more HP. And it also gave, holy lord, it did give me a tears, uh, tears up. It feels nice. Uh, and then I'm gonna pop Joker, and it's gonna be a Krampus fight, which is okay, actually. Because I don't really feel comfortable with where our HP is sitting right now. So this is fine. Uh, I do not want Krampus' head, I do not want it Sam I am. I want to stick with this Isaac's, uh, incredible stupid skull. Uh, and then I think we're just going to head down. There's no reason to stick around here. Uh, we do, obviously, one benefit to not getting a deal with the devil. Means we got an 100% chance of a deal with the devil on this floor. Uh, which is very positive for us. And it's going to, essentially, as long as I don't play stupid, allow us to hopefully cash in and get some kind of monster deal from Nike or Adidas on this floor. I will also step into the closet and then step out of the closet, even though it coming out day was the other day let's continue on here uh the lucky thing about this floor layout we will pass by the item room uh there is no way of us uh skipping around this floor and having to backtrack it's a fairly linear straight shot if we want to use mathematical terms we don't tyler we don't i know that you don't have i mentioned i hate that room uh and oh wow back to back uh rooms that i absolutely despise I hate it. You already know, as soon as I get close, it's gonna hit me. I hate it. Oh. Well, deal with the devil chance is gonna be... I mean, it's not horrible. It's 50. We can probably crank that up to like 75 if I go and destroy a shopkeeper somewhere. But I will say, my... my despising of the run went to an all-time high right there this run is still beautiful though don't don't let the haters bring you down mini mush is great we're also one mushroom away from the fun guy transformation not that the fun guy transformation is really anything all that spectacular it's just a one hp up but a one hp up is better than a no hp up i did not even see this man here and basically the worst case scenario is we get hit on the boss fight and lose the deal with the devil chance on there we can basically do this entire floor uh getting hit on every single room and life is still gonna go on but as long as we don't get hit on the boss fight we got a chance at that deal with the devil it's gonna be about 51 percent chance unless we get a bomb here there everywhere shortly but the game just wants to give us keys uh and we could i suppose play this crap um, we're not going to play that crap. We're just going to go fight Loki. Uh, we're going to get Godhead. Loki's going to get absolutely obliterated. We do get a deal with the devil, so everything pans out in the end. And, uh, yeah. Here's the deal. This man needs to give me a syringe right now. Needs to give me a full health pill. Amnesia. That is not a full health pill. Okay, so then you give me a penny. You take this, you take this, and then you leave. And I know you're sitting here going, Tyler, what the frick you doing, buddy? You're just gonna die. There is a small chance I die, but I think there's a greater chance we don't. I'm gonna check out the shop. Don't be greed. Okay, we have water balloon, not water balloon, paint tears, paint bombs. 
Took me a second. Uh, we do have a bomb now. And I knew that we hadn't gone to this room, so I don't know why I even went in here. Because I knew it was going to be useless. Let's try to use the bomb to find a super secret room. This is going to be a difficult thing to do. Unless we get lucky. Is there a place attached to this room? It can be either or. I'm going to go up. Not up. Uh, we're going to go down to the next floor. I'm going to play this first. Give me a bomb. Actually, the heart is not good because now we're not in Horror Babylon. But, okay. We did, we botched things a little bit. Just head on down. We'll be able to get into Horror Babylon eventually. Uh, and I know that we now ruined our chance. We could have gotten an arcade on this floor. Look, it, it, life goes on. There's worse things to occur than what we did on that floor. This run is still fantastic uh, and is going to be super good by the end, but we've made a couple of sad sorry mistakes. Life goes on. You know, nobody's going to lose sleep over uh, the events of the beginning of this run. There's still plenty of run to go on this one. Okay. All of a sudden, we have, like, all the consumables we could ever need. Bumbo's stealing all of them, but Bumbo's allowed for right now. I don't really technically need any money on this run anymore. Because we really, we don't need... It's the last place that we can see a shop, unless we're going to go do the Hush fight. Uh, which, I'm going to be honest with you, Hush might be actually in our cards on this one. Yeah, we have not done the Hush fight. We have done Boss Rush. That's not really a problem. This is a new, uh... This is a new Afterbirth Plus room, which was actually much more difficult than I originally expected it to be, so that's, uh, it's not the best, but we got her done. Let's go to our secret room. We do want to find the super secret room, though. We got 11 bombs. That's plenty of bombs to find a super secret room. Uh, two spirit hearts is fine. Let's get closer to a 100% uh, chance with the old devil. I know that 40 is not exactly, uh cutting it in terms of 100, but it's better than 37.5. 8-inch nails is really good. And once we get Horror Babylon active, our, our damage is really going to be off the charts good. It's just getting to the point where we get that activated. Because we really do just need, like, a deal with the devil that contains some freaking items. And we've been getting devil deals with items... But then we get HP ups, like, shortly after that we're forced to take because, like, you're not going to not take magic much because you're trying to get into Horror Babylon. That's just, I mean, it's just frankly a stupid idea. So, we'll get this stuff figured out, though. You know what, Bumbo? Those are all yours, buddy. You eat. Did you enjoy that? I hope you did. And you know what? You can have this one, too. Walk on thin air. That's fine. What do we got in the shop? Uh, rocket shoes, I don't like. The cauldron is really, really good, but I don't think it's necessarily what we want on this run since we have the fantastic, uh, item of all time in Isaac's skull. This is not usually the kind of item that I would like either, but, like, a free godhead every three rooms is stupidly good. Like, really stupidly good. So, we'll pop that, get this on the roads, and frankly, like, if there's a halfway decent item in boss rush, we're just gonna do it because it's going to be easy. So, we'll take the Polaroid. This is the first run that we can take the Polaroid, I believe, which is pretty cool. We'll take a Incubus that puts us into Horror Babylon. We come in here, Glass Cannon, Butterbean, Pinking Shears, and Borderline. I'm absolutely going to take Borderline, and then we're absolutely going to fight Boss Rush. Uh, is there going to be some lag here? Yes. Is it worth it? Probably not, but we're going to say yes. And we just got to patiently wait for uh, our... Holy crap, is the lag bad? This might not have been the best idea, but... I promise you it's going to be okay. We now have Brimstone for the room. So... It's kind of just going to be a straightforward route to victory here. Do I think that it's a good idea to keep Borderline? I think that it's like not necessarily... Oh my god, we have Godhead Brimstone now. I don't think it's not necessarily the best idea to have Borderline, but when you see Borderline, you take Borderline, because it can be an insanely fun item, despite the uh, little bit of laggy poo that it does. If you haven't noticed, 
We are obliterating everybody. And I believe we got a second brimstone, so now we're firing out two beams. And now we got a third. So we're going to be firing out three beams of brimstone. This is just basically like we're firing out seven, six, six beams of brimstone because of... Uh... Wow, we're already done. Okay, we got black pepper. This really gets in your nose. Ah, and then it fires out that crap. Did that look phenomenal? I mean, yeah. I think you gotta stick with this incredible Isaac Skull, though. I think this is incredibly underrated. This is not the kind of uh, item that I would normally go for, either. And people who watch me, you would understand, like, this is not the kind of item I go for. But, this run is looking pretty nice right now. And part of the problem is 9-inch nails. The splitting of the nails plus borderline just creates issues in the game. Because stuff starts to infinitely split. But I'm still kind of a fan. Let's remove 8 inch nails. And that might make this run just slightly more bearable. Do I know really what's going on? No. There's a lot of shots everywhere. This is what Borderline does to you. See, these are the things that I do so that you guys don't have to discover them. I do these weird synergies so that you can look at it go, Hey, cool, but your computer actually stays alive. Mine, it, it's long gone, honestly. Are we going to do Hush? Uh, I think the answer to that is actually, like, an absolute hell yeah. Just because, like, one, we're insanely powerful. Please be the C room. No. Uh, one, we're insanely powerful. Two, it's going to be, like, a really easy fight. And since we need to do it anyway, we might as well do it, you know? So it looks like we're heading down. What are these? Be like tears up pills, just to be even more stupid. Full health. I mean, not really all that useful. There's a part of me that feels like removing borderline and then adding back 8 inch nails is the smart thing to do. And then possibly removing Borderline from the mod pack. Because obviously there's something not right here. That the game does not like. It might just be our rate of fire with this item. Because in low, in low doses. It's pretty good. I mean it's pretty good in general right now. Year rune. Oh baby. I mean, actually, we knew that was a year rune. We only have year unlocked. We will absolutely take the year rune. Now we... It, it's actually obliteration. All I did was tap the down key, and this happened. So... Do I understand what's going on? No. Uh, the game is moving at a speed of... Zero. And, uh... I have no idea what happened. So... In my eyes, it was only good. Sure, I, I, it's hard for me to, for me to complain. Uh, we'll take the shot speed up. What's the card? Here, Fant. Thank you very much. Uh, and then give me something stupid in here. Such as three red chests that contain three guppy items. No, that is definitely not what happened. Range up, amnesia, infested, and speed up is also A-OK. -okay. Take the Yara rune. Head on down. Uh, this run's really good, but I'm going to save you guys some headaches here. And we are going to give item... 8 inch nails, remove uh, borderline. Just because, like, I don't know. It seems like that's the right thing to do. Now, however, that did not add back 8 inch nails. So, give, uh, it's because I did give, not give item. Give item 8 inch nails. Okay, so there we go. That's going to be slightly better here. It's at least a little bit more bearable to watch. I know that that was fun. And I'm all about having fun. I'm not a, I'm not a fun sucker. Am I fun at parties? Probably not. But that's just because of my personality, not because of who I am as a person. Oh, wait, that's the same thing. Uh, this was not the way to the boss, so screw me, I suppose. I didn't want to find the boss anyway. Can we just talk about the fact that we still have the trinket and active item that we started with? How often does that actually happen on an Eden run? 
And the answer is pretty much never. There is a closet up here, so I want to check it out. Just because closets can sometimes contain, like, some really strange, wacky stuff. And if there's something strange and wacky in here for me to see, I would like to see it. Because if there's, like, eight stone chests, we year it, and then we move on with our day. And that's going to create, like, a crap load of items. So show me the good stuff. This was not a closet. The closet is a, uh, it's a cursed room. That's not really what I, what I wanted, so... Screw me for believing it. You made me, uh, you made me a believer, and then you freaking tore me to the ground. Okay, just, just take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the Isaac run drive you crazy. We just have to survive. There's a part of me that doesn't want to do hush. Just because I know. Like, I know what happens on hush fights. I'm going to be living a happy life, and then I'm going to find myself with zero HP. And I know that we get to pop the stupid skull, and it's going to give us either brimstone or godhead. And hopefully godhead, because, frankly, brimstone plus hush is not necessarily top tier. But... Alright, we're probably going to do it. I'm not a little baby. Like, oh no, I have to be hush with brimstone instead of godhead. Suck it up, Tyler. Okay, uh, we're not going to pop it on mom because we want it for hush. We want it for hush. Tell me why is mom's heart so easy? Tell me why. Um, Tyler, that was it. Lives. Okay, yeah, I understand. What do we got? Uh, yeah, I will absolutely take the mark. Even though I'm gonna just be honest with you, that was a horrible idea. And I know that a lot of people are gonna be pissed at me with this move as well, but, uh, Yera? Even though we have the chest, ho da na 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 ba na na ba na na ba na na ba na na boom that's a uh, 0.57. It's because we have Magic Mush. But boom. A beautiful 9.72 damage up. I have... I have... <laughs> I have the pulling of Isaac HUD on. I didn't expect this. I will take Cull Obama. This is a bad idea, by the way. My apologies for having pulling of Isaac on. Uh, I did not mean to. Explosivo is the right move, correct? Yeah, no, it is. It definitely is. Look for a crawl space. That was maybe a little cheaty, but this whole series is a little cheaty, so suck it up, Buttercup. 3 HP is enough to win this fight. Uh, I'm just going to point that out. I did really, really, really want to take Tech 2, by the way. There's our crawl space. Y'all act like it never happens. It happens more often than you think. Of course, we somehow just got a regular crawl space. It's like I didn't even have revamped special rooms on. It's a little bit wrong. I don't like it, but that's okay. And then what do we got in the shop? Shop contains the weird apple, two of clubs. I'll buy the weird apple. Gravity up? I, I don't actually know what this does. So I will take Isaac's skull. And then we will come in here. And then we will fight the boss. Please give me Godhead. You did give me Godhead. This is going to be a melting. We actually just... We beat Hush so hard that Hush didn't spawn. <laughs> I feel like that's maybe a little bit wrong. But... Who am I to care? Let's head up to the Cathedral. We're just gonna pop the Emperor card immediately. Uh, because why wouldn't we? This is going quite swimmingly, uh, as is. And, yeah, I mean, how did this go? I'd say it went okay. What a dumb run. Uh, this, this went, like, way out of control really quickly. Thank God we went down to the Hush Fight, or else we would look like absolute morons right now. Uh, we do not have any keys for the chest. We got blank card, finally. 
I've been waiting 85 years for it. We haven't even unlocked the Mega Satan door. I've never, like, it's been a long time since I haven't seen the Mega Satan door there. So that was a little funky. Uh, we get a free Steam sale. How much do I care? I honestly, like, could not give a crap less uh, about Steam sale right now. Bombs are key. I'm drowsy. I mean, it's also fine. The chest is going to be very easy, uh, in case you haven't noticed. I would love to get some keys. You know, if I get keys, I will go back and use them. But you also have to keep in mind that on a scale of 1 to anything that will help me, the chance of there being uh, something in the 10 to anything I can help me scale is close to 0. Because this run needs no help. So... We'll open one of these, but yeah, I don't think Magic Fingers is going to do a whole hell of a lot for us. The only Magical Fingers I need are the ones attached to my hand right now. So sure, uh, we'll continue on. The fact that we had Incubus as well on this one, uh, to just basically double what our damage already was, is so stupid. Sure, I will pop Brimstone in here. And I forgot that it actually synergizes with Call Obama, uh, which allows... Please don't crash. Oh, it's doing some funky stuff. This is the slowest that I've ever seen the game get to. We actually, like, have reached infinite brimstone lasers. Okay, hold up. Something went dangerously wrong right there. We are never popping Isaac's skull with this run ever again. By picking up Capricorn, we lost damage, mainly because of Horror Battle Line. But we're just going to finish the run here. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid of everything else, so just allow me to uh, get this show on the road. We are a hit away from death, but he's also dead. Let's just get the hell out of this one. A little bit sketchy at the end, but hey, that's okay. I'll allow you to watch the ending because we haven't actually seen this ending yet oh look it's maggie and her older mom maggie is isaac and his younger brother uh creepy it's dad and mom what a cute couple and uh it's isaac hating his life as usual uh and then isaac crying by a chest that's good and then mom stabbing him also great uh and then there's mom and isaac having a good life and then the last picture we never see so that's good that's the end if you enjoyed Remember to smack that like button. Mysterious paper has appeared in the basement. And the angels await. Let's go get them. We get the back ass words challenge. Ultra hard challenge. We basically are just unlocking the rest of the challenges. We have officially gotten the end on our uh, file. Which means that we're making good progress. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.